Hi everyone, good morning, how are you doing? I'm here to make a correction to the video somebody made. You know, anytime something good wants to come to anybody, there will be an adversary that will like to fight against it. There has been some ladies, some men, you know, they have always been coming online to give people advice of, Okay, of what they can do naturally to get what they want easily. And each time these people are giving this advice, they always say, any religion you belong to, use the name of that God that you belong, you believe in. That if you are a Muslim, say Isha Allah. If you are a Christian, say in the name of Jesus, any God you believe in. Use the name of that God. Use that same natural remedy to do the prayer and everything will work for you. But now, there is somebody that is not coming online to say, when you do this thing, these people are telling you, uh, you may be initiated. Where is this evidence that shows that if you use any natural remedies, you'll be initiated into witchcraft? Or you'll be initiated into marine kingdom or whatever now i'm a christian so i'm going to give examples from the bible i don't know much about the the, the quran okay when jesus christ wanted to heal the person um, that was blind jesus spit from his mouth put on the ground pack it miss the sand with the spit and use it to rub the person's eye and the eyes open there are so many instances, even in the Old Testament, when Moses was to split the Red Sea, it was the rod that was in his hand. God told him to use it to strike the water and the river um, separated. It was a very big miracle. And the, the people he was leading were able to pass through the, the Red Sea on a dry land. So, Take your time. Check the Bible very well. You see that most miracles are always going with something. They are always going with something. Okay? So, when you see the people telling you, use salt, use sugar, use honey, use whatever to do your prayers that is going to work for you, just believe it and do it. If you believe it, it will work for you. Then if you see that other brother i believe you just want to create a content telling you that if you use anything to pray in the name of jesus you'll be initiated into witchcraft into marine kingdom how can the name of jesus that used to make all knees to bow mm. now initiate you to witchcraft have you thought about this have you thought about this so there are some people Okay, there are some people that you see online. When you see their content, just block them because they are enemies of progress. There are some times when you go to some churches, ordinary water in a bottle, they will sell it to you 5,000, 10,000. Okay, now somebody is coming online to tell you that that same water from your house or from your tap, from your river, use it to pray in the name of Jesus, you will get that same miracle. Instead of people to appreciate, believe it and go and do it, somebody is now coming from somewhere to tell you that if you use the water from your house or from your river, from your tap, to do anything, it will initiate you into um, a marine kingdom or a witchcraft sea or whatever. Anytime you see that person's video, please block that person. He's an enemy of progress. It is this kind of people that will tell you not to do the, the things that are free. As in things you can learn about spirituality for free. They will tell you not to do it. Rather, later they will come and lure you to their backyard church. They will not charge you some money. Use that same natural remedy give to you with the money they charge from you. I don't know if you are getting the clear picture of what I'm trying to say. There are some people, the worst of their mouth will hinder your peace and progress. When you come across these people, block them on social media. That is it. There is a brother, um, I say a brother because he's a Christian, I'm a Christian. So the people in the like faith, we call them brothers, okay? 
he is very faithful in his service to God. Every early morning, he goes to sweep the church. He come back, take his bed, attend Sunday school. After church has closed, he will still stay till the end of everything. Still sweep the church again. I say, he's so dedicated to, to God. He now got a job somewhere. The place he got a job to, the person did not believe in God. Now that person that is now his boss is not telling him that Jesus is his camp. Jesus is this. He's not telling him a lot of bad, bad things concerning his Christianity. Before you know, this guy is already slacking back in his Christian life already. He's not seeing it that all the things he's going to church to do, he seems to be like he's a fool. Before you know it, eh, in the next few moments, you see that the, the life of that guy will change. He may likely lose the job and his life will go back miserably because he has associated with a bad person that has took the faith out of him, that has made him to see that believing in God is a kind of a stupidity. You know, so anytime you see somebody that is standing against the things that bring blessings to you, shift away from that person. These people are spiritually offing your light. They are offing your light. They are offing your light. So natural remedies that they come to tell you online, I tell you they are good. Somebody tell you, uh, take water, pray in the water and drink it and it will work for you. Go to some churches where they are collecting tithe and offering. If the same that water they will tell you, they will pray on it, give it to you to drink and your miracle will happen. Why don't you do it free in your house? Now, doing it free in your house, somebody is coming to tell you that if you do it free in your house, you are going to get initiated. So where? Can you use the name of Jesus to initiate anybody into witchcraft? Can you use the name of Jesus to initiate anybody into marine kingdom? Anytime you see these people standing against natural remedies, block them.